This program contains strong language and sexual references throughout. Finally, it's time for Ricky and Vicky to talk. What could go wrong? All right. Okay, we'll just stay there, Vix. Why do you want to be here? Why do you want to be here? Because not everyone likes me. OK. Well, like I said, I didn't come in to argue. Well, and you're obviously... going to have to talk to us, whether you like oh. it or not, cos you're in my house. We're in your house. Yes, we are. No, you're yes, not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. So why don't you talk to us like a big boy? And you come out here to argue with my ex-girlfriend that we split up ages ago. I can't be bothered. And no, no, you want to have an argument and you want to get... What part? make Ricky look bad and you want to fit you. I don't make Ricky. you look bad. You do just a good job on your own. <laughs> She is the biggest mistake in my life. Like, she's absolutely deluded and crazy. But you're just a bully, man. How am I you a bully? Are, you, you, seriously, you start arguing. It's, it's ridiculous. She's a psycho. She's got an anger problem. Mentally imbalanced, Ricky. I'm just talking about I'm mentally imbalanced. You're also imbalanced. really, really what unintelligent. He's never liked hearing the truth. He's never liked arguing. He's never liked being told he was wrong. You can't handle it. Sit down. No, no. I think we're done. Sit down and have this conversation like a grown man. I didn't give me to argue. It's, it's fucking pathetic and it's ridiculous, like, to be fair. You have the fucking laugh. Not a chance. Fucking bitch. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Hey, no. Child. He can't handle being mentally dominated. That's all there is to it. It affects his masculinity. <clears throat> oh, come on, Rick. And I think that speaks volumes. Absolute volumes. Ooh, here they go for round two. One thing that will sort of bother me forever if I don't ask it is you sat in a restaurant with me in Newcastle and told us he still loved us. Knowing you'd already I sold your story I on me. Answer know. me questions. I didn't know you'd kiss all these questions. lads in Australia. You had already sold a story on me. So don't sit there I can whiter than white. She's just a bit of a wanker. Always has been. Oh no, I loved you. And you know, I, you know I did. And you thought telling our innermost secrets and relationship deals was gonna make me come running back? I said that you are in bed. Wicked. Funny. All right. Give me a final turn. Oh, wicked. Cheers, mate. Never once has he apologised for what he did to me, for what he put us through. So, no, I'll never get the apology I want. But from my side, I apologise if you did anything wrong. <sighs> and let's both move on. I said I'm happy now, and you can see you're happy. For tonight, stay out my way. It did all. Stay out my way. And we'll both have a good night. Well, I mean, I hope you don't. But... Well, I hope you do. She's just showing the true person that she is, and she's a bitch. <laughs>